Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with a 2 inch brush and a small amount of red. And we'll come right over here and just paint in a nice little light area. Just right here. And we'll let it work out and stop right about there. Now we'll go into a little bit of yellow. I didn't even wash the brush. A little bit of yellow. And we'll drop that right here. It'll kind of mix with the red there and you'll get a nice little orange color. Now with a clean brush, I'm going to go through just a little bit of blue. And then we'll come over here and just paint in the rest of the sky. And I'm going to come right down to the yellow and stop. Now with a clean dry brush, I want to come right in here where the yellow meets the blue and just blend it a little bit, not much, just a little tiny bit. Now with the fan brush and some white, we can drop in a few nice little clouds up here, just using the corner of the brush. Now with tiny circles, we can just blend out the bottom of the cloud. And then you can lift the cloud, kind of fluff it. And then blend it all back down. Now with the one inch brush and some black and blue, we can drop in a couple of little trees over here. Just by pushing up with the brush. Now with some red, and yellow on the one inch brush, we can drop a tiny little bit of highlight on some of these trees. Just tap. Real small amount of highlight. Now with the two inch brush and some black and blue and some red and brown, we can tap in some nice little trees and they're just up here. Just get them nice and dark. We'll come back and highlight later. Now I think this will be a good time to grab a little bit of red on the fan brush and just drop in a small amount of red in the snow. We'll have snow down here and that'll just kind of end up being a little bit of reflection in the snow. Just like now with the two inch brush and a little bit of blue and white. We can drop a little bit of highlight on these trees. And now we can do the same to this side, just by tapping. Now when you're done with that, you can take a fan brush with just a little bit of white and just pull. Grab the bottom of the bushes and just kind of pull them out. Now with the fan brush, and some black and blue and some brown. We can come right over here and drop in a nice big pine tree just by tapping with the brush. And we'll come back and highlight this one just like we did all the other trees. Now with a little bit of blue and white, we can drop just a tiny little bit of highlight on this tree just by tapping and working down. Now, with just a clean knife, we can scrape out where we want a nice little cabin up here. Just get a, a general idea of what we want to put in. Now with some brown on the knife, we can just block in this cabin here. Just like that, good and dark. Now with a little bit of brown and white, we can drop a tiny little bit of highlight on this little cabin up here. Now when you're done with your cabin, you can scratch in a couple of windows right there. And maybe even grab a little bit of yellow, put some light in the window. Now when you're done with that, you can come along with the knife and just kind of clean up the perspective a little. Just scrape away the extra paint there. Now with some black and blue and a little bit of red on the fan brush, we can come along just like this 
and put that pine tree right back in front of the house. Push the house right back into the painting. Now back to that one inch brush that we were doing a lot of the trees with and some good dark color. And we can pop a bush right there. Just pop them in. And let's do another one down here. Just like that. Now with the one inch brush and some white, we can just drop a tiny little bit of highlight on this bush just by tapping. Now we can change that color just a little and pop some highlights on this bush too. It, I'm just giving it the tiniest, gentlest little push you can imagine and you get all this nice texture in there. Gentle, gentle little push. Now with the fan brush, we can go through some dark color and just push up. Bend it up. And we'll get like a nice little grassy patch. Just like that. Now with the script liner, we can just pull up a few little grassy things right out of that grass patch. Like maybe it's brand new snow and it's not very thick. And there's some grass that's sticking up. Now one more thing we can do is just add a couple of little icicles right down here, just like that. Don't want to overdo, just put a couple in. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale, I'll put the link below. And if you have Facebook, look me up on Facebook, I'll put that link below too. And thanks for watching.